for our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, teachers, administrators, and most importantly, the remarkable class of 2023. You may be asking yourself, where is Dr. Frame? And who is this person standing in his place? I am Dr. Kristen Overholt, the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. And on behalf of Dr. Frame, I send his apologies. But he wanted me to let you all know that yesterday, he and his wife joined the ranks of proud Clarence parents with the birth of their new baby boy and our new, newest little red devil. I will send him all your well wishes. I would like to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to Ken Smith, Kevin Barrett, Julie Mampy, and all those involved in organizing this magnificent graduation ceremony. Their efforts have made this day possible, and we owe them our appreciation. I would also like to acknowledge the exceptional faculty and staff at Clarence High School whose dedication and commitment have played an instrumental role in shaping the class of 2023. I know I speak for Dr. Frame as I stand before you today, filled with immense pride and joy as we gather to celebrate this momentous occasion of your graduation. On behalf of your teachers, administrators, and the Board of Education, as well as your family and friends, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. 
Graduation holds a special place in our hearts because it signifies the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and growth. It is a testament to your resilience, determination, and the unwavering support of those who have guided you along this journey. Today, we honor your achievements and the extraordinary individuals you have become. As you prepare to leap into the next chapter in your lives, filled with endless possibilities, I want to share some thoughts for you to contemplate as you embark on this exciting journey. First, I urge you to pursue joy rather than mere happiness. In a world that often equates happiness with material possessions, remember that true joy stems from doing what you love and being passionate about life. Find your calling, your true purpose, and never settle for anything less. Embrace challenges with enthusiasm and let the pursuit of your passions guide you to a fulfilling and joyful life. Second, adaptability is paramount in today's global economy. Graduating from high school now means you are entering a world where competition knows no borders. The job landscape is ever evolving with new careers emerging and technology advancing at an unprecedented pace. To thrive in this environment, you must cultivate resilience, embrace change, and be prepared to tackle challenges head on. Remember, your high school experiences have equipped you with the necessary skills to navigate uncharted territories and overcome obstacles that may come your way. Third, maintain an optimistic outlook. Optimism has the power to transform lives and make a difference in the world. See infinite possibilities in every situation. For those who believe in the potential for positive change, truly leave a lasting impact. Melinda Gates once said, optimism is, isn't a belief that things will automatically get better, it's a conviction that we can make things better. Your optimistic mindset will not only uplift those around you, but also propel you toward achieving your own dreams. Lastly, hold on to the absolutes in life. As you grow older, you may encounter moral dilemmas and situations where right and wrong seem blurred. Stay true to the values you learned as a child. Values like honesty, integrity, and kindness. Do not be swayed by those who compromise their principles for convenience. Stand firm in your convictions and always strive to do what is right, even when it is difficult. Remember, your character is defined by the choices you make, especially when faced with challenges and adversity. In closing, I leave you with the words of Oprah Winfrey, who said, you are not your circumstances, you are your possibilities. If you know that, you can do anything. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. It is now my pleasure to introduce Clarence's own class of 99 graduate, Mr. Chad Michael Murray. Right? All right. I love you. How are we doing? Look at this. What's that? Oh, no. It was good. I was waiting. Uh, look at this beautiful group of people. This is, this is fantastic. I'm home. Home sweet home. Thank you guys, genuinely. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for bringing me here. It's genuinely an honor. I'm just kind of a little taken back by the opportunity to come back here and experience this moment with you guys. I've been there. I sat in these very same chairs as you did. How be it? I think it was a different venue, but that's okay. 24 years ago, I sat in those very same chairs listening to some old guys speak about a bunch of stuff that I didn't really care about. 
Here we are 24 years later. I'm the old guy. <laughs> so get ready, it happens fast. Um, all kidding aside, uh, thank you Clarence for having me back. Uh, genuinely, I'm really grateful. The entire faculty, all you beautiful graduates that welcomed me with such open arms. Thank you, the cafeteria, thank you. Uh, Joe, my buddy, Joe McGreevy. Mr. McGreevy, as you might know him. Good old Mr. McGreevy. Uh, he reached out to me about eight months ago, and the moment he asked me if I wanted to come and have an opportunity to see you guys and be a part of your special moment, I was like, yeah, let's do this. And I'm so glad that it worked out. I'm so glad I'm here, so thank you. Uh, thank you, Clarence, for my education. <laughs> Seriously, thank you for my education. I still have not used the square root of anything. <laughs> Maybe I'm in the wrong field. <laughs> but uh, it's genuinely, it's taken me where I have in my life. It's given me the opportunity to function as it's going to give you. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. I've seen what education can do. My wife, who's sitting right over there, she homeschools and she teaches our kids every day. There we go, I agree. <laughs> um, I second that. And uh, watching young minds develop and grow is one of the coolest experiences in the world and uh, you guys are well developed and ready to go. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so I wanted to try to make this a little bit different and try to involve a little bit of like my industry, right? So everyone here, I assume, has seen television, yes? 99% of you. So every TV show starts off with a teaser. That's how we open it up, right? We start off, we set up our episode. It kind of explains who the characters are, who are the players, What's it gonna be about? Where's this journey going? And then we buckle our seatbelt and we get ready for the adventure. You guys are just finishing the teaser of your adventure. An hour episode, we got four or five acts to go. This is literally, we just set up your adventure. From here on out, it's up to you. It's your hard work, your dedication, your passion, your drive, your aptitude, your heart, your loyalty that's gotten you this far. And that's what's gonna take you the next mile. You gotta trust me there. You know, sometimes we sit back and we have bad days, right? Things don't necessarily go our way. You know, sun will rise on a beautiful tomorrow, and you can trust me on that. I've been there. Uh, when I was sitting there, I think, um, and I'm sure people in here can understand, I had dreams and I had aspirations. I wanted to be an actor. It's what I wanted to be. And boy, oh boy, when I told some people did I get booed? <laughs> no, I, you know, it's one of those things. You're in high school. I said, I want to move to Hollywood. I want to be an actor. And actually, it wasn't Joe, don't worry. But I did. I got picked on for it. I was belittled. And that could have stopped me. That could have held me back. And maybe I wouldn't have followed my dreams. It's possible. I, if anything, that lit a fire in me. It lit a fire to stand up, to do the work, and to get out there, to enjoy every single moment of it. I've got a motto I live by. It's enjoy the journey. Very simple, very easy. And what does that mean? It's just enjoy the journey. All of it, the good, the bad, and the mundane. Even those moments waiting at Starbucks or whatever it might be, you're just going through your phone. Enjoy it all. We're blessed to have this life. We're blessed to be here. We're blessed to have air in our lungs. We have life in our step and we all have the will to move forward. Live with that. Live with that in the good moments, the bad moments, the mundane moments. I hope that if anything you take from me, that's what you take. Just enjoy every moment. It's all good. We're above ground. I'm blessed. We're all blessed. Um, the new chapter of your life starts today. That's so cool. You guys realize high school's over? Whew. Boy, oh boy, you've been waiting for this day, huh? All right. One of the greatest things about high school coming to an end is you get to reinvent yourself. This is an opportunity, all right? You've come equipped. Every single teacher in here has prepared you for the future, given you the basic tools. But now you get to take those tools and decide who do you want to be? What human being do you want to be? What mark do you want to leave on the world? What legacy do you want to leave? How do you want people to remember you? A guy once told me, 
and forgive me, there is one cuss word in this. He said, and this is important because it changed my life. He said, nobody wants, he was an asshole written on their gravestone. It's true. I just got in trouble. I just got canceled. I cussed at a graduation. It's so true. Think about how we can treat others. Think about how we can love others. Think about how we can move forward every day, accepting everybody for their differences, challenging them to be better in the most positive light, in the best way. Like, you just don't want those words on your gravestone. So think about it. Every time you interact with people, lead with a smile. There's a great book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Anyone read it? Yeah! So you know. The influence that this book had personally on me, one of the first things you can do is lead with a smile. You'll get warm embraces, and everyone will remember you from that first impression. Lead with a smile. And then remember the person's name you're speaking with. It's vital. It's the most important word to the other person's language. So when you go and you apply for these jobs, and you go out into the world, you have new professors, remember their names and smile. It's going to take you a long way. Maybe that 98 becomes 100. It's called charming them a little bit. It might be slightly, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I want to thank somebody. Uh, my favorite teacher of all time changed my life. Uh, he, gradu or he graduated. He retired this year. Mr. McEwen. Anyone here have Mr. McEwen? That man changed my life. I went into senior year history. I thought it was a joke. I did. And man, I was failing out. And he looks at me and he goes, it's this simple. You don't fail. You don't pass history. You don't graduate. So whatever. You can take it or leave it. He took the extra effort not to just put me on the spot and give me the real. He helped grow me, nurture me. And when I asked those questions, he pushed me. I think I scored a really great grade on the exam due to his hard lessons. And he said, Chad, you're never going to amount to anything. So five years later, I came back to school and I saw Mr. McEwen. And I was so proud of myself. I was so proud. I was like, I got a TV series. Like, I've done all these things. And I walked in and he, I said, well, I guess, uh, I guess you're wrong. I guess I made something of myself. And he looked at me and in his McEwen-esque way, he just goes, you haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm so grateful. That continued, that fire, and that determination, and I know exactly what he meant by that. What positive, what good can I bring to this world? Thus, philanthropy came part of my life, and it can become part of yours. I want each and every one of you to think about something in your life that pulls at your heartstrings. There are so many people out there that are less fortunate than us. And sorry if I'm going too long. There's so many people that are less fortunate than us. Give them time, energy, whatever it may be, uh, uh, whether it's you know, giving to Goodwill or donating to St. Jude if you have the financial abilities or giving your time, do it. Let's all make this world a better place. It's now yours. That's what's so crazy. This moment, like you guys are walking out. This is your world. You guys get to take over. We're getting old. So, you know, we need somebody to step up and make this place a better place. And I think you're going to do it. Um, any of you deciding to enter the film and entertainment industry? Anyone? All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go for it. It's a fantastic industry. We need better movies. <laughs> And in about five years, I'm around, so I'll, I'll come. If you want to give me a job, I'm there. <laughs> um, but genuinely, I, I, I push you. Achieve your dreams, man. Go after it. Don't, don't deny yourself. Go after your dreams, and that's for any profession. I have a, another thing I want to say, and then I'll let, you, let someone else talk. <laughs> um, for me, there's a two-hour rule. No matter what you're doing in your life, if you spend two hours a day going after those dreams, watch what happens. 99% of all people in this life are lazy. It just is what it is. What I mean by that is people will go 
and take the route of least resistance, all right? So if you're really good at math, maybe you become an engineer. Maybe you're really good at history, you go. <laughs> love math! I love math. Um, maybe you're great with kids. You become a teacher and you teach kids. Um, I loved performing. I became an entertainer. But if you take that dream and you put two hours every day, all right, so like in my profession, we can read scripts, we can watch plays, we can watch movies. You can watch a movie with the sound off. You can watch the movie with your eyes closed and you'll see three different pictures than you originally saw it. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, keep yourself centered. This is your body, this is what you have that's gonna take you out into the world. If you can keep yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually centered, you're so far ahead of the game. What do I mean by that? Mentally, keep yourself smart, keep yourself studying. Do those two hours. Physically, let's get some good nutrition in that body. It's important, it's so vital. Like, give yourself the means, get some exercise, get that dopamine pump. Spiritually, whatever your faith may be, take that time. I start my day every single day reading the Bible to put on my spiritual armor. That's what I call it. Spiritual armor before I go out and attack the world, right? Whatever your belief system may be, meditate, pray on it, be there, accept it, put on your spiritual armor so that you can get out there and make this world a better place. Have that positive mantra. Don't ever say I can't because when you say I can't, you won't. Uh, don't, don't ever let those words, delete those words from your memory, I can't. It can be hard, it can be difficult, but you got this. So let's see, what are we gonna do here? I don't know, I don't know. Let's eliminate cynicism, guys. Let's eliminate, eliminate cynicism. Let's spread love. Let's love big, love strong. I love you guys. I'm grateful that you brought me here. Genuinely, no, like this is a sincere moment for me. I never prepare speeches, I don't do that. I like to just wing it. But thinking about you guys, it's cool. It's super cool, because I identify with you. This is my home, man. Go Red Devils. That's right. Clarence, graduates of 2023. Gosh, I'm proud of you guys. I congratulate each and every one of you. I would stay here and I would shake each and every one of your hands. And trust me, I wanted to. Production kind of changed things on me. I'm filming tomorrow morning. I'm getting up and they're picking me up at 6 a.m., about six hours north of here. So I'm going straight into a car from this moment, driving six hours north, memorizing 10 pages of dialogue and filming Sunday through Friday. So TMI, but I just wanted you to know, I wanted to be here for you. And that's why I have to head out because of that. Um, but way to freaking go. Way to freaking go. This is the first chapter, guys. You've done it, next chapter's coming. Do me a favor, congratulate this beautiful staff. All right, guys, to the faculty of Clarence. Your parents, please thank your parents, please. I'm now a dad and I actually know that they do mean the best for you, even though they'll make you feel nerdy and weird and all sorts of stuff. Boy, oh boy, they only want the best for you. Trust me. Uh, thank you so much for sharing this special moment in your lives with me. And uh, as always, go Bills. <laughs> now, I get to introduce National Honor Society, Topeka Lankapali. Get up here, darling. Good morning, fellow graduates, family, and friends. I would like to begin by congratulating all of my fellow graduates and thanking everyone who has supported us in our journey and our high school years. You have shaped us all into the people you see today, and I can say in total confidence that we would not be who we are without your support, encouragement, and kindness. High school pre has prepared us not only for successes in the classroom, but also the challenges and opportunities that lie beyond its walls. 
It has equipped us with critical thinking skills, problem solving abilities, and a passion for learning. It is these qualities that we possess that will enable us to navigate the many complexities and challenges of this world. This day marks the culmination of numerous hours of hard work, dedication, and the pursuit of excellence. However, let us not forget that this day marks a milestone, the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. As we stand on the precipice of a new chapter, it is natural to feel a mixture of excitement and apprehension. This world that awaits us is filled with endless possibilities and opportunities. But we now have the opportunity to take the knowledge, skills, and values that we have acquired and apply them to make a positive impact on the world. As we embark on this new chapter, let us remember the power of our dreams. Each of us possesses within us a seed of greatness, a seed waiting to be nurtured and cultivated. Let us have the courage to dream big, to pursue our passions, whole, passions wholeheartedly, and strive for excellence in everything we do. However, the journey will not always be easy. There will be setbacks, failures, and moments of doubt. But it is during these times that we must summon our resilience, determination, and unwavering belief in ourselves. It is in the face of adversity that we find our true character and grow stronger. As we embark on this new chapter, I am reminded of a quote by Bill Gates, an entrepreneur and philanthropist. He once said, as we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. These words resonate deeply in the spirit of this moment as we the graduates are poised to become tomorrow's leaders. I would like to conclude with a quote. Have you ever looked at a picture of yourself and seen a stranger in the background? It makes you wonder how many strangers have pictures of you and how many moments of other people's lives we've been in. Were we a part of someone's life when their dream came true or were we there when their dream died? Did we keep trying to get in as if we were somehow destined to be there or did the shot take us by surprise? Just think, you could be a big part of someone's life and not even know it. So be the memorable person, someone else's picture, a single captured moment, a moment that lives on and a moment worth remembering. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2023 and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I would like, now like to invite up Mr. Clarence, Carl Gunther. Hello, Clarence High School, class of 2023. I'm honored today to speak before you all as your class president. And let me say, it has been a privilege to serve you and enjoy this past year with you. Today we're here to celebrate our shared accomplishment that we've all worked hard to achieve. This moment and the emotions felt along with it are so hard to encapsulate in words, especially in the little time I've been given. But here are a few of my thoughts, which I hope will resonate with you. There's an idea that I like, a quote from a song which I hold dearly, and that is, the point of a journey is never to arrive. Here we are, together, at the end of our high school journey, but at the beginning of the rest of the journey we call life. Today, we are at a crossroads, a threshold. This evokes in me the Roman god Giannis, the god of crossroads, who had two heads, one looking forward and the other looking backward. We too, are looking forward with hope and optimism, confident in all that we will accomplish. But we can also look backward and see all that we've already overcome, conquered, and persevered. Now, we must all forge our own trails, our own paths. A journey would be treacherous and plain without its navigators, companions, and guides. To illustrate this, I have a small story so back in 2019, when I was training to go to uh, an expedition in, in Canada, I was on this practice hike with a few of my friends. We weren't that well trained in navigation. We came to a fork in the road. One way would take us on a detour. where We'd have to hike two to four extra miles. And the other way was the correct way. And it all came down to one of my friend's decisions. And we ended up, ended up going the wrong way and hiking uh, two extra miles. But in the end, it made the journey all the more special. Anyway, 
I want to take a moment and thank our guides in life, our teachers, friends, and above all, our families, all those who make this trip worth taking, all those who have provided us with all the love, inspiration, curiosity, motivation, wisdom, respect, and kindness to make each step of this vivacious trail a joy to take. I've been privileged to have spent several years with all of you, and the memories I've made have been so impactful on my life. From the varsity football and hockey games, to the homecomings, to the spirit weeks, to the clubs and proms, and yes, the after parties too, I'll always hold these memories dear to me, and thank you for making these times so special. I know our time together may be over after this, and these words forgotten, but these laughs, these shared halls, these hours together will always stick with us. Now I want to end with a charge to my classmates. We are islands to each other, building hopeful bridges on this vast uncertainty of life. So be kind. You never know what struggles another has endured to build that bridge. Live in the here and now. See more of the people and the places that surround you before they slip on by. Be ambitious. Obstacles do not exist to be surrendered to, but only to be conquered. Always seek improvement. Always seek more, yet truly love what you already have. Lastly, feel no need to worry and no reason to be sad. When I think about this, a German expression comes to mind that my father told me, and it goes, was mich nicht umbringt, mag mich stärker, which Kelly Clarkson would tell you means, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I believe great things are waiting for you on the journey of life. I don't like using goodbyes. There's something I'd much rather prefer to say, and it again is a German expression, it's Auf Wiedersehen, which can be translated as until I see you again, or like how I like to take it, until we meet again. I know that one day, somehow, some way, sometime, in some form, we will meet again. Today is not about where our journey ends, but where you take your journey. And until the time we cross paths again, just enjoy the journey, my friends, until we meet again. It is now my great, great honor to introduce the incredibly handsome Emmett James Forrestal. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have three insights I hope to share with you all today. These are all crucial in how I try to live my life, and I hope they may be of some help to you. The first, we must all be consciously aware of the fact that at any point you may meet someone whom you will entirely cherish or discover something which you will permanently adore. We must be aware of the fact that at any point you may first see someone who will end up dramatically impacting your life. At any point, you may discover a new passion which becomes a part of your identity. You may find the best book you will ever read, hear your favorite song you will ever hear, or eat the best meal you will ever have. These are not experiences you can afford to miss because of distraction, disengagement, or disconnection. As Marcus Aurelius said, the present is all anyone possesses. To waste it, to let it escape you, to fritter it away with fear or frustration, that is a rejection of a beautiful gift. Second, do not let others determine the path you will follow. You must think, you must live, and you must lead your life. No one else can know your needs, no one else can know your values, and no one else can know your aspirations. If your life is set on a course chosen, influenced, or manipulated by someone else, 
it will be unfulfilling to you. Only you, using your mind, knowing your values, being who you are, can choose your aims. It's impossible for anyone else to do it for you. Do not fall into collectivist dogma. You are not your family. You are not your friends. You are not your school. You are not your politics. You are not your job. You are not anything else you can think of. You are an individual, and all of your life's actions must be guided by your reason and your values. Only individuals can determine their needs. Only individuals can reason for themselves, and only individuals can determine the path of their lives. You must value your judgments before the judgments of others in how you will live your life. This is the meaning of self-esteem. Self-esteem is trusting your capabilities, your reason, your judgment, your determinations, and your choice of how you will live. Self-esteem is not letting anybody else do it for you. Third, and I believe most importantly, do not resign yourself into the all-embracing hands of mediocrity. Do not sink into the herd which only lets itself down. Do not embrace the laziness and the hedonism of the masses you see around you. Rather, choose, choose every morning, every second, and every minute to rise above. Choose to exemplify virtue, determination, and grace. I will leave you with a metaphor which I stole from a Roman poet. Imagine two gates, the first gate of mediocrity and the second of exceptionality. Both of these gates offer pain, disappointment, and suffering. The first gate of mediocrity is enormous and easy to enter. Therefore, many people pass through it. But this gate offers only mindless, fleeting pleasure. It offers only a path trodden by others, and it offers only a one-size-fits-all reward. On the other hand, the second gate of exceptionality is locked by solid iron doors. But behind this gate lies true meaning, genuine fulfillment, lasting happiness, and self-determined success. Many shy away from the gate of exceptionality when they see that it is locked. Many shy away when they shake the doors and they don't budge. But some stroll through this gate with no hindrance at all, and they reap the rewards of exceptionality. This is what those few who are allowed to enter all know. The key to the second gate is courage. Thank you. I would now like to introduce uh, Carl, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Erica, uh, Erica, Rhoda, Inga, Gretel, Johanna, Helgel, Gunther. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Erica Rhoda Gunther. It is an honor to stand before you all today as this year's salutatorian and commend this once-in-a-lifetime celebration. Back in my youth, I was an avid reader of fantasy and mystery. The adventures that played out on the pages I wanted for myself. I wanted to be a detective and run along the streets of London. I wanted to be a half-blood and travel to the underworld. These books or my inspiration. And so, as a young girl, I was quite adventurous, always seeking out fun, heedless of the consequences. I especially loved the cold months of winter when ice skating and igloo making were the most exciting pastimes. But eventually, my reckless behavior led to a revelation when during winter, I fractured my knee by sliding down the wrong side of a hill. Lying in frigid pain in the snow, I did the only thing a smart and responsible preteen would do. I called upon my brother for help, and it, I immediately limped to the nearby tire swing. Now, in hindsight, after surgery and enduring physical therapy, I realized the mistake I made of escaping to a different world to find inspiration and adventure. Such things do not solely reside in books or poems. Our lives are our own little tales. We will all experience those chapters of bad grades and lost games. 
we will all eventually become acquainted with failure and disappointment. But if you reach out a hand, there will be someone there to lend a hand, a shoulder to cry on, someone to inspire you. Look around. Look at your teachers, your friends, your family. Without their guidance and love, their unending support, none of us would be here today. Thank those who have served as an inspiration, those who you've dumped buckets with, those who you've woven wicker with, those who you've watched countless of episodes with. Thank those who have helped you walk when you just wanted to lay in the snow. We are the captain of our fates, the master of our souls, embarking on our own adventure and sailing away to a land of opportunity. For some, New York will remain your home. For others, Clarence may become a distant memory. Although we cannot see what the future holds for us, I do know one thing for certain. We will make the most of it. All of us have persevered and achieved so much in only four years, and I have no doubt we will continue to do so wherever life leads us. And so I encourage everyone here to not fear sledding down the wrong side of the hill. It's okay to stumble and mess up. As said by Edmund Vance Cook, the harder you're thrown, why the higher you bounce. Be proud of that black and die. It isn't the fact that you're licked that counts. It's how did you fight and why. My friends, this life is your adventure. Don't squander those blank pages that have yet to be written. Find that inspiration, that person, that idea, and make it your muse. With your heart and wits as your instruments for success and your friends and family as the colorful hues of happiness, you can endure any challenge. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Now, please give a warm welcome to the amazing, the incredible, the one and only, Miss Valedictorian, Chelsea Fuchs. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, graduates. As we move forward into our futures, we must ask ourselves three questions. Who are we now? Who do we want to become? And how do we manifest this version of ourselves so it becomes our reality? These three questions are the key to unlocking the futures we desire. However, answering them is a repetitive process. Every new experience will change our perspective, and as a result, over time, our answers to life's biggest questions will evolve. There will never be one right answer. And that's okay. Now is the time to discover who we truly are and go into the future trying to figure it out. Figure out ourselves, others, the world. Our journey has certainly not been easy, but it is all we're saying to be standing here today. As Miley Cyrus once said, life's a climb, but the view is great. We have persevered through trying times and become stronger. We learned to lean on one another, and we became a more cohesive class as a result of this. In life, we must persevere and come together as a group to get through the worst of times in order to reach the best of times. Because in the end, the more challenging the climb is, the more rewarding the outcome will be. In the wise words of Babe Ruth, never let the fear of striking you out keep you from playing the game. It is better to battle fear than to live with regret for the things we never did. We must not give up and give in before even trying. We must never quit. We must continue to push forward and pave the path we want for ourselves. There is a world of unknowns out there, and it may be a frightening thought, but some of the best things in your future are currently unknown. From Atlas Shrugged in One Tree Hill, do not let your fire go out spark by irreplaceable spark, in the hopeless swamps of the not quite, the not yet, the not at all. Do not let the here in your soul perish in lonely frustration for the life you deserved, 
but never been able to reach. The world you desire can be one. It exists. It is real. It is possible. And it is yours. It is important to remember this as we enter a new era. Life is too short to be worrying about the future or living in the past. We must live in the present and enjoy all that we have been blessed with. One must never lose their passion out of fear. We must all follow our hearts and instead of being deterred or discouraged by the unknown, be encouraged. Go into your future, the unknown, with hope. Before I finish, I would like to end with one more quote, one that explains how I've gotten this far. We all need a little help sometimes, someone to help us hear the music in the world. That someone is out there, and that someone will find you. Find people that will help you listen to the music and find the good in the world. I have certainly found friends, family, teachers, and other mentors who have done this for me. Find your light in the darkness. Find your calm in the chaos. Find people who help you find yourself. I have found my people, and I hope as you all travel on your journeys, you find yours. Hear the music. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2023. Now I would like to hand it off to our wonderful principal, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Good morning, and thank you so much for being here to celebrate our graduates. I truly honor uh, to share this memory, uh, this memorable time with all of you, the families, friends, teachers, administrators, everyone who's here this morning. I'd like to begin quickly just by thanking our Board of Education, our superintendent, the faculty, staff, and most of all, the parents for everything that you have done to work with us to get to this point to celebrate our graduates. Without you, this never would be possible, and I thank you for that. To the class of 2023, it's been an outstanding school year and I've truly enjoyed the last four years of working with you. You've been a great group of students to work with and next year I'm gonna miss you guys. You've demonstrated resiliency and grit and you've persevered through challenges and you still made your high school career an outstanding experience and I'm really proud of all of you and your accomplishments. Thank you for the memories and I wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. So without further delay, I am honored to present the class of 2023. Mr. Fuchs, I certify that the class members of the class of 2023 have met or exceeded all of the requirements established by the Clarence Central School District and by the state of New York, and I present them to you for the awarding of their diplomas. Chelsea Ruth Fuchs, valedictorian, honor roll all four years. Erica Roder, Rhoda Gunther, valedictorian, honor roll all four years. Emmett James Forrestal, honor roll all four years. Carl Herbert Gunther, honor roll all four years. Depika Lenkapali, honor roll all four years. Anna Bergetta 
Hanson, honor roll all four years. Emma Nicole Farrell. Colleen Shaylee Doucette. Sydney Evelyn Arnold. Brenna Kathleen Lincoln. Paige Megan Hurwitz, honor roll all four years. Brooke Alexandra Pogorski, honor roll all four years. Catherine Caroline Puakea Maholu Aloha Perota Matson. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Pastahova, honor roll all four years. Ryan Megan Nazaro. <laughs> Rachel Miriam Gay, honor roll all four years. Michaela Rose Simmons. Molly Ann Schuster. Casey Jane Swantek, honor roll all four years. Emily Anna McCloth, honor roll all four years. Ryan Michael Davidson, honor roll all four years. James Jason Wyatt, honor roll all four years. Perfect attendance all four years. Jonathan Henry Swanee. Zion Luis Ortiz. Alden Michael Jonas. Justin Francis Woolley. Adam Charles Brophy, honor roll all four years. Brian Alexander Rebarzik. Zachary Norman Wells Ellis. Christian Gabrielle Lee, honor roll all four years. Anthony Charles Magara. Cody Robert Luntz. Michael J. Landy. Ann William Johnson. McKenna Shea Tobin. Amani Darwish. Rachel Bibbler, honor roll all four years. Mia Isabella Service, honor roll all four years. Noah Connor Service. Brooke Ann Friedman, honor roll all four years. Margaret A. Johnsanti, honor roll all four years. Carter Luke Schmelz. <laughs> Connor Alexander Deturio. Ava Marie Robinson. Gage Anthony Ferentino. Caden Daniel Hensley. Matthew Mark. Baron Blake Kenyon Heim Robert S. Peters Jr. 
Zachary James Campana. John George Bauer. Luke Emil Caranzaro. Vincent J. Akiki. Liam Charles Best. Sophie Bryn Duquette. Madeline Elizabeth Ferreter. Honor roll all four years. Ava E. Sklinner. Ashley Grace Brown, honor roll all four years. Andrew Joseph Salazzo, honor roll all four years. Maya Maljena Giassi, honor roll all four years. Aisha Hamed. Alexis Emma Fisher. Kaylee Ann Connell. Marissa Noel Fisher. Andrew Michael Faust. Madison Ann Law.
Isabella Ann Hinning. Madison Kate Nizanski. Michael Jeffrey Schmidt. Alexander Marcella Giordano. Nathaniel David Berg, honor roll all four years. Sebastian John Berg. Kamari Keyshawn Kinsey. Noah Michael Spearing. Jeremiah David Williams. Kaylin Reagan Ashton. Alyssa Teresa Geiske. Matthew Richard Hill, honor roll all four years. All right. Robert Dean Lorenz. Ryan Ashley Smith. Eva Artel. Graceland Paige Bishop. Sam Delilah Alton. Anna Marie Cahoon. Leah Catherine Clark. Nilish B. Tamala. Sydney S. Sin, honor roll all four years. Jensen L. Phillips. Mackenzie May Yi Yu. Emma G. Wiglarski, honor roll all four years. Zachary Charles Rowling, honor roll all four years. Jacob Douglas Clinard. Jonathan Michael Fleming, honor roll all four years. Eric David Palmari. Luke Joseph Carey. Tucker William Halusicek. Sandra Curiel, honor roll all four years. Angelina De Maria. Alyssa A. Zeiler, honor roll all four years. Joseph Daniel O'Neill. Cheryl Ann Smith, honor roll all four years. Elena Beth Ross. Clara Marie Buglioli. Tessa Marie Procopio. Violet Alexandra Sakiris. Callista Marie Mariano, honor roll all four years. Emily Grace Morelli, honor roll all four years. Amy Marissa Isaacson, honor roll all four years. Lillian S. Wolfley, honor roll all four years. Ryder James Roth. Emily Marie Prisonzano. Dory Elizabeth Vertino Flynn. Carter J. Swicklinski. Dawson Joseph Turkovich. Soteris William Modeus, honor roll all four years. Dylan Douglas Reifenberg. 
Jackson David Bernardoni. Brady Michael Colhane. Braden Edward Zwolinski. Jaden Walker Giesling. Tyler James Ryan, honor roll all four years. Savino William Nanula. Gabrielle Marie Irwin. Madeline Elizabeth O'Brien. Leighton Ann Perlato, honor roll all four years. Madeline Grace Graham. Olivia D. Sidorakis. Julianne Marie King, honor roll all four years. Kendall Gabriella Woods. Olivia Noel Crystal. Taylor Marie Canetti. Emily Jane Schlabach. Connor Michael Giglio. Sean Robert Giglio. Anna Grace Miminger. Liana Abdallah, honor of all four years. Grace Victoria Struther, honor of all four years. Megan Amy Pachenko, honor of all four years. Amelia Laura Endershot, honor of all four years. Timothy James Bickle, honor of all four years. Brendan Patrick Ball. Nicholas D. Panaro. Aiden William Hank. Matthew Morin Potkladek. Elijah Anthony Douglas. Alexander D. Quinn. Daniel Antonay Stewart. Aiden J. Schaefer. Andrew James Klaus. Isaac Aaron Hunter. Kyle Sikchoy Sheen. Jason L. Zalewski. Joshua James Shimo. Carson Matthew Mazurkowicz. Grace Kaylin Plowman. Isabella Magdalene Sykes, honor roll all four years. Reagan Rose Short. Jamie Ann Fish, honor roll all four years. Aaron Liana Zahn, honor roll all four years. Miranda Grace Homan. Brooke Lynn Hackford. Troy Elwin Evans. Austin J. Cribe. Gabrielle Sophia Prey. Gianna Nicolette Prey. Morgan Susan Hansel Garrow. Samantha Lily Rose Newton. 
Ella Rose Judd, honor roll all four years. Shay Lynn Degler, honor roll all four years. Jolie Margaret Brayley, Brady, honor roll all four years. I love you, Zoe. Zoe Rebecca Snitzer, honor roll all four years. Hannah Pearl Rose Farley, honor roll all four years. Michaela Elizabeth Stainbrook. Gabrielle Margaret Albanese. Allison M. Chug, honor roll all four years. Mary Ellen Wild. <laughs> L. Marie Ridge. <laughs> Natalie Antoinette Mislinski. <laughs> Rosalie Catherine Denunzio, honor roll all four years. <laughs> Olivia Corinne Welch, honor roll all four years. Paulina Wilson Adams, honor roll all four years. Jordan Elizabeth Van Nest. Elena Paige Lorenz. Haley May Judd. Ava C. Castle Lapatina. Lauren Sandra Shiano, honor roll all four years. Emma Grace Brewer, honor roll all four years. Julia Sophia Laspro, honor roll all four years. Noah William Freeberg. Sydney Ray Fagan. Lucas Eric Wiesmore. Nicholas Mark Green, honor roll all four years. Milana K G. Camo. <laughs> Hannah Renee Dunn, honor roll all four years. Kelly Ann Stelrick, honor roll all four years. Samantha Grace Hughes. Sean Matthew Fib Philbin. Nathan Matthew Wojciechowski. Owen Lewis Meichenbaum. Alexander Thomas Lasky, honor roll all four years. Andy Jeru Lynn, honor roll all four years. Abigail Catherine Brady. <laughs> Kelly, Kaylee Emma O'Brien. <laughs> Sophia A. Graves. <laughs> Alexa Ray Berry, honor roll all four years. Jack Thomas Bova, honor roll all four years. <laughs> Zoe Eliza Bowers. Alexandra Elise Fish. Lauren Elizabeth Zwarecki. Keely Lynn Demise. Tegan Rose Segris. Erin Jordan Carlisle. Samantha Robin McCann. Miracle Devon C. Cook. Samantha Shea White. Eden Rain Boyaselli. Delaney Denise McCartney. Amanda Lynn Nagel. Sylvia Marie Mania. K. 
Kaylee Jordan Pollard. Julia May Bartels. Isabella Dominica Zivis. Sydney Taylor Spear, on a roll all four years. Carmela Christina Lasivita, on a roll all four years. Ella Grace Kinzerski. Isabella Bianca Likowski, on a roll all four years. Gabriella Rose Zizowski. Maya Rain Wozniak. Alana Rin Colby. Alexander Joseph Dominique. Ashton Terrell Minot. Jacob Andrew Stout. Keith Gavin Sutton. Jeremy William Connor. Cameron James McCutcheon. Grayson R. White. Jalen Thomas Myers. Ann Moore Jackson. Caden Beal Zawatsky. Timothy Edward Arndt. Junior William Joseph Berry Benjamin Raymond Gregor Thomas John Russell Andrew Stephen Dimitrov Trenton Michael Sherwood Walker Russin Sapansky James R. Samato. Jacob John Marinak, honor roll all four years. Noah E. Stock. Haley Madison Wazarek. Elena Rose Antonio. Karen Liliana Levy. Hasman Nadine Gomez, honor roll all four years. John Paul Florentino, honor roll all four years. Carolyn Elizabeth Jones, honor roll all four years. Miriam Williams, honor roll all four years. Annalise Jolie Marsala. Anna Lisa Snowdy. Sarah Hope Mariani. Rebecca Faith Mariani, honor roll all four years. Mitchell James. Gazelle, honor roll all four years. Megan Shea Haley. Clay Styles Longo. Mia Susan Crow, honor roll all four years. Ava Chudazinski. Catherine Joseph. Cartanudo, honor roll all four years. Jonathan Jisung Yi, honor roll all four years. Parker Wayne Schultz. Ava Louise Andrews. Ryan J. Collins, honor roll all four years. Mitchell Jacob Sayers. Noah Michael Lurtz, honor roll all four years. 
Jason Thomas Dorigo, honor roll all four years. Benjamin Robert Shoemaker, honor roll all four years. Matthew E. Parrish. Lucas Nathan Jefflion. Connor Reed Moran. Nathaniel Brubaker. Gavin Brubaker. John Peter Patrick Arnold, honor roll all four years. Joshua Allen Methril, honor roll all four years. Drew Pyar, honor roll all four years. Jeffrey Lee Zhang. Antonio Patrick Ippolito. Jacob Daniel Wind. Aiden Robert Bauer. Hudson Anthony David. Jacob Robert Madison. Imran Thurab Saeed. Samuel Ryan Wisnowski, honor all four years. Thomas J. Santillo. Caitlin Scarlett Roman. Joseph Stanley Ranaletta, honor of all four years. Ashley Marie Smezniak, honor of all four years. Jackson Joseph Flynn. Caden Michael Smith. Jordan Blumen. Brendan M. Crimmen. Zachary James Decker. Cameron Reese Heberl. Landon Connor Kraus. Collegino Anthony Gallo. Mackenzie Lauren Brady. Corey Marie Carter. Jackson Pillar Colaruso. Emily Susan Mitchell. Benjamin Lee Albertine Hammond. Nevada Baker Gaston. Kathleen Ann Williams. Anthony Joseph Bandinelli III. Philip Jack Merlino, honor roll all four years. Spencer Reed Schofield, honor roll all four years. Aiden Taylor Tyler Morris. Emma Loretta Maori. John S. Carlson, honor roll all four years. Theodore John Cook. Peter Joseph Cola Franceschi, honor roll all four years. Emily Victoria Ebersole. Sophia Louise Todaro. Emma Elizabeth Young. Gianna Grace Sarah. Lashana Margaret Rose Yeager. Hannah Irene Lynn. Emily Emerian Pollard. Olivia Margaret Dickinson. Ryan Christopher Manning. Riley Lewis Popa, honor all four years. 
John Trowbridge Huskin, honor of all four years. Matthew McKinley Weir. Samuel John Pleiter. Carlos Alejandro Lomeli Sanchez, Jr. Reed Michael Hogan. Caleb Carl Usach. And we will now have our closing remarks from the president of our Board of Education. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Clarence Board of Education, I would like to thank everyone for being with us this morning to celebrate the graduates of the class of 2023. It is an absolute privilege to stand before you today and be afforded the opportunity to offer some final thoughts and a few pieces of advice to the, these graduates sitting before us. While I've, I've had past opportunities to speak at prior graduations, today is extra special. I stand before you not only as a board member, but also as a proud parent of one of these fine students. So forgive me if I get sidetracked along the way. <clears throat> so before I address the graduates, let me first take a moment to say a few words to the parents and grandparents here with us today. <laughs> if you are like me, these last few months and past few weeks have been filled with a great deal of emotion. A flurry of laughs has filled our calendars as our baby's senior year has come to a close. If you are like me, each of these last has caused you to think about all of the firsts along the way. The first day of school in kindergarten, the first concert, that first practice and game. We think about how it all began and the moments along the way that led us here to today. These moments are forever interconnected and serve to form the foundation from which our children and grandchildren's future will be built. So while it may be hard to let them go, it gives me comfort knowing what a strong foundation each of them has as they look to take that next step in their life journey. It is because of the collective hard work, love, and support of so many that they sit here before us today, not as bright-eyed five-year-olds heading off to their first day of school, but rather as bright-eyed young adults ready to head off into the world. So while at times like today, we may look at our sons, our daughters, or our grandchild, and see images of them at kindergarten move-up day. We know we are simply seeing the shadow of the amazing young adults sitting before us, ready to graduate from high school. They have grown before our eyes, and like you, I know they are ready to succeed in anything they set their hearts and minds to do in the future. Congratulations to all of you. <clears throat> To the graduates, I know these last 13 years have provided you with a solid foundation for your future. Whether your path to today started at Clarence Center, Harris Hill, Ledgeview, Sheridan Hill, or elsewhere, you leave us today united as a united class, the Red Devil class of 2023. As you get ready to embark on the next chapter in your life, let me first offer up a couple final pieces of advice. First, remember to stop and smell the roses. A saying I'm sure all of us have heard before, but one I can say carries more meaning as you get older. <clears throat> the actual saying is traced back to an autobiography written by Walter Hagen. The actual quote is, don't hurry, don't worry, and be sure to smell the flowers along the way. It speaks to the ideal of appreciating the moments and goodness in our lives. As I'm sure you have all experienced by now, the pace of life picks up as you grow up. Demands upon you increase, and the idea of unplugging and slowing down even for a moment may feel impossible at times. In our constant battle to find balance in life, the ability to hit the pause button is critical. It will allow you a chance to take a step back, take in the moment, and appreciate your journey. 
My hope as you sit here today with your friends, reminiscing about shared experiences, celebrating challenges overcome, and thinking about what your future holds, that you take a moment to pause and take it all in. Soak up this moment, soak up this day, and appreciate the gifts of life that are all around you. Going forward, I encourage you to find a way that works for you to hit the pause button often. Hit pause, take that proverbial step back, and take in the beauty that is around you. While time will never stand still, you have a choice in how you appreciate it. Remember, don't hurry, don't worry, and be sure to smell the flowers along the way. My second piece of advice, and that is a theme that you heard earlier, and that is to give back. Be one that gives of your time, your expertise, your heart to those less fortunate. In a few short months, you'll be heading off in different directions. You will meet new people, build new friendships, and experience countless new opportunities. You will pursue a career or continue to further your education. Regardless of your path, you will each continue to learn and grow, to expand on your knowledge and to sharpen your skills. As you do, I encourage each of you to continue to share your gifts with the world. I encourage you to seek out opportunities to use your expertise, your talents, and your big hearts to give back to others that are less fortunate. We have been fortunate to live in a community that is better off than most. I encourage each of you to think about the impact you can have on others and to make a commitment to give back wherever your journey takes you. So on that note, please allow me a slight diversion from my speech as I feel is important to acknowledge someone who is living this right now. For those who may not know, your assistant principal, Mr. Barrett, will be leaving us at the end of summer. He has made the decision to devote his time and talents, along with his wife, to those in need in Ghana. Please join me in giving him a round of applause and wishing him well. <laughs> Thank you. So, as I conclude, let me offer up one final piece of advice. It is something I am borrowing from our former superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Hicks. As my daughter sits among you today, I only see it fitting to share some of the most profound advice I could offer up to a high school graduate about ready to head off into the world. And that is simply, call your parents often. Texting and snap do not count. <laughs> call, call. <laughs> so graduates, here we are at that moment you've been working the past 13 years for and patiently waiting the last eh, about hour and 45 minutes. Time to make it official. Class of 2023, can you please stand? <clears throat> Family and friends, it is my distinct pleasure to officially introduce the newest graduates of Clarence High School. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you.